Scott, what would your emotions be after this evening's game? Uh, pleased we got three points. Did well first half. Thought we controlled it first half and played some real good stuff. You know, there's only one one team that you can see winning that and getting on to three, four, five. That's what I thought it would be. Um, but didn't didn't really take the game by the scruff the next second half. And you know, when you let them in and they. Um, you know, get chances because they're going to push on, and they've got to because they're two 0 down anyway. So then it becomes a little bit nervy, uh, especially when they scored that goal. Um, you know, I don't know how many minutes it was to the end, but then they start to press you, and, and they might get a little decision that really they shouldn't have even been in the game. Like it's, it was that simple. That, you know, they've come here. They've. Um, I don't think they've they've been great first half, and we should have um, really put the game to bed straight after half time. But it doesn't always work like that. You know. And, they play for them to have a go right to the end. And when we talk about Ryan Brobble, we need to start adding the phrase a free kick specialist. Certainly, uh, he's uh, he went over the wall at Penny Bond and he's reversed it this time. Very good um, technique, um, excellent, and you know he's, uh, he's he's certainly become a good goal scorer for us. And with three strikers, you went for Dean Ebby in the starting lineup, and that certainly uh, paid off. He scored the second goal. Yeah, good, good work from Sears. Got down the wing and cut it back. And that's where Dean needs to be in between the six-yard box in there, right? You know where the balls are coming in. Um, put a few balls in there earlier on and didn't quite get there, but told him to make sure he stays in that in that area. And uh, yeah, good for him to get a goal tonight. And including the excursion into Scotland, that's six games played so far this season. But just one clean sheet. Does that trouble mm. you, Scott? Yeah, it troubles me because we only had 14, um, 14 goals against last season in the league. So um, what's that now? Six, is it? Six conceded. Um, you know, it's uh, yeah, it does. It's, it starts to, to think, right, well, what else have we got to be doing and do we need to tighten up here? But we are trying to do that. We're trying to work at it, we're trying to work at our deficiencies and stuff. So it's not that we don't notice it, we are we are looking at it. But as long as we keep winning games, um, we'll work at that along the way. But let's get back to the positives. The win tonight for the New Saints means that for the first time this season, on top of the JD Cymru Premier. Yeah, that, that was a carrot for the game, you know, win tonight, you go top. And um, can we stay there rather than having to chase everybody else all season? You know, let's get back to the TNS of old where we, we dominate and everyone else is underneath us, behind us. You know, looking to uh, to try and get that, that top spot. But um, yeah, good. We've got a, got a win. It's uh, certainly better feeling than the weekend. Um, still not over that yet, but we're getting there. And finally, we have done a lot of travelling lately, and it's more of the same next Monday. A long trek down to Cardiff, an 8 pm kickoff on a Monday yeah. evening. Yeah, it's a late one. Um, it's for Facebook, is it? It's for people to watch on Facebook, so, you know, really, really think it's a great idea. I was travelling on a Monday night down there, but that's, uh, that's the way it is. Scott, thank you for your time, as always, very much appreciated. Thanks.